Today is December 18th, 2010, and as I have talked about on the blog and on a couple of different forums, it's time to expand our systems and expand our capability um, of growing fresh greens uh, in the basement. And what I've decided to do uh, is to create two deep water cultures. These are different in the ebb and flow in a sense that basically the water and the plants, or this plant sits with their roots dangling in highly oxygenated water that does not necessarily get pumped up or down, it just stays stable. And the oxygenation obviously keeps the roots from drowning. The solution is poured into the tank and uh, monitored and measured, and it gives the plants a very good and very healthy uh, atmosphere to grow. So I'm going to kind of take, take you through this process of how I built these two exceptionally simple systems as the as the name of the blog suggests frugal hydroponics uh, definitely uh, definitely this is frugal the, the bins that I bought are a couple that I picked up I believe at Home Depot or Lowe's they're eight gallon Dura box bins pretty typical uh, plastic bin with lid I like these they were about five bucks a piece what I really like about them is they um, they're very thick and they're colored plastic. No light gets through these, so there's no need to spray paint. Because as you know, you don't want light entering your your grow solution because it is a great place for algae to start. And once you have algae, you can lead to different problems. So these bins were actually perfect. And after searching around, the size of these bins is just about perfect for what I'm trying to do. Because these are going to be, again, for strictly for lettuce. And we want to develop a system to where we have year-round lettuce production that constantly uh, constantly rotates from one bin to the next. So basically took my bin, uh, started off with that with lid, of course the holes are already cut in it. Uh, the additional ingredients that I needed are net pots, of which I ended up going with the three and a half inch net pots. There are six of them. These cost about 45 cents a piece. Okay. The airline tubing, because this is going to have to have a bubbler. So this is just typical uh, aquarium airline tubing, eight feet, probably ran a buck or so. Okay, the multi-tool, the Dremel that I use for, for cutting the holes. And then of course the air stones, or air stone, one will go in each in the bottom. And I believe these are six, eight inches, eight inches long, and they're about a buck fifty a piece. And of course the grow medium that I use is the, uh, is the silica stone. And it's very, uh, very absorbent, very porous material. It's like hydroton. It just doesn't roll around as much, so it's it's roughly the same. Okay, what I did to start this project out, or, or what I did to get the holes in, <coughs> I basically lined up the net pots in a pattern that allowed all of them to fit. I wanted six stations, and each one of these stations will grow a head of lettuce continuously. So I lined them up on the uncut lid, basically spaced them where I wanted them. And I took a pen, it was actually an alcohol pen, and I traced around each of the uh, each of the lips. Okay, so on each one I had my, my full circle. Now I had to measure the inside diameter of the pot, and that came out to basically an eighth inch lip. So from the outside, so from the outside of this rim to the inside is one eighth inch. So I took a found the center, took a took a compass, and drew a one eighth inch lip. And of course, that's where I cut my holes. So basically, as you see, the net pots drop right down without falling all the way through, and they're sturdy. They'll hold the plants. They'll hold the material. This is probably the most time consuming part. And you can buy a hole saw. You can buy exactly a three inch hole saw that would cut these very quick. Uh, I chose not to spend the 20 bucks for the drill bit. I just used the uh, the bits off the Dremel multi-tool which I already have. So there's the lid. There's the pots. These will contain the grow media. Okay, They will sit, uh, sit on the lid which of course will mean that they actually dangle down into the into the reservoir by about a oh, good two inches as you can see. The next cut, which was really easy, just a basic drill bit. Need to run your hose or hole for your airline tubing. 
and just make your hole just barely big enough for it to slide through. The airline tubing in this case doesn't need to be dark because no water is being pushed through it, so clear airline tubing is fine. Now the running of the system is very, very simple. The airline tubing is going to go from the pump to the air stone. Sorry about my terrible camera work here. But basically the air stone is going to lay in the bottom of the reservoir. The airline hose will be connected to it. And of course it will be plugged in. Filled with water and some nutrient solution. The lid goes back on top and voila we have a system capable of producing six heads of lettuce at a time. Now how I'm going to set this up once I get the stand running and I will make uh, another video or at least a photo. These will be side by sides. They will go underneath a, uh, uh, a bank of three dual 48 inch shop lights. Fit just perfectly uh, from front to back. So this will give us a total of 12 heads of lettuce going non-stop. Uh, there's also going to be enough room under that um, light that I could either add one more of these which I may do in the future or I can put the old ebb and flow underneath there uh, and still continue to produce. So that is all there is to it for a deep water culture. The solution, the solution goes in, the air pumps are turned in and let the plants grow. And as I get this thing running, I've got uh, plants being germinated right now. As I get them set up, I'll create another video showing how I use the uh, rock wool and the silica rocks and get this thing started. Till next time.